what's going on guys so it is the end of my first week on keto so if you watched the video i showed you so many clips of uh, what i was doing what i was eating so i'm just gonna sum it up and talk about my first week and how i feel so um this is sunday morning it's 9 30 uh, a.m so um I started last Sunday. I think I didn't record my open video until Monday, though. Um, and, yeah, the week went really good. I really enjoy eating this way. I really enjoy eating the keto way, getting into keto into ketosis um and stuff like that so i really enjoyed it so basically throughout the week i just ate the way i was supposed to high fat low carb i mean high fat moderate protein low to no carbs at the beginning of the week i started with tracking i use a tracker called my plate um i only tracked like two days out of the week i didn't track every day um just because i'm not used to it and i just totally forgot about it um but i just you know paid attention to what i was supposed to be eating and what i wasn't supposed to be eating i paid real close attention to that i was really on pinterest pinterest a lot trying to look at the charts that they give you like what you should eat, what you should avoid, and stuff like that. That I really was following. I really liked the way it was broken down. It was simple. It was easy. Overall, like I said, my week went really good. Uh, yesterday was probably the only day where I had an issue. Me and my husband went out to a new cafe at the end of the night, and I had a drink. However, I did look on the chart and see like which alcohols I should consume if I am going to consume them while on keto, you know, and what to stay away from. The only thing is the drink did have ginger syrup in it, so I don't know how much sugar <laughs> that was or whatever. I kind of had to wing it. I know I had little carbs that day, like very little. So my carbs were low, but... I don't know if that knocked me out of ketosis or not, but I definitely felt like by yesterday, my body was in ketosis. My body felt so different on Saturday than it did on the previous, like Monday and Tuesday. As you saw in the video, I was down, I was sluggish, I was feeling tired. By Saturday, um, I didn't feel like that anymore. I felt just really normal, fine. And then something else that really shocked me was the scale was going down so rapidly. Um, I was losing, I'm losing pretty much a pound a day or 0.8 pounds a day, which is amazing. Like, how do you do that? Like, only on keto, I guess. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm really enjoying watching that. And then just how my body looks as well and how my body feels uh, while I'm doing this. The only thing, you know, while you're out with like people, I feel like that's the only problem. Also, yesterday I went to like a church gathering and they had like snacks or light refreshments there to eat. And I could only eat like two things there. Um, it was like cheese cubes and little pepperoni slices and there was like salsa so I could only eat a couple of the, those three things out of what this spread they had and it was fine with me I wasn't super hungry I literally ate right before I came out the house because I knew I was going to be out for a little while I knew I wasn't going to be able to eat everything so I kind of prepared myself for that um, but it wasn't too terrible I ate those things I was fine it was enough the hardest part so far has been the fruits I love fruit I love all fruit apples oranges grapefruits grapes uh pears watermelons, mangoes, like I just love all fruit. None of those fruits I can have on keto, you know, so I just stuck to my berries. Um, I found a, a love for blackberries that, I, that was hidden, so I just pop those in my mouth whenever I feel like uh, I need like a quick snack that isn't, and they're not even really sweet, they're more tart. Uh, so I really did, really kind of found a way around that. And the last thing is um, how long it takes me to get hungry. So this is the, the, second day that I've noticed it because the other days yeah the other days I went to work and, it, and my schedule was a little bit different so um today I woke, I woke up that I'm not hungry yesterday I woke up that I wasn't hungry that's not normal for me usually I wake up and I'm starving I'm famished this whole past week it's been like that I've woken up probably around well some days I woke up around seven o'clock other days I woke up really early in the morning either way when I was waking up I was famished and I just needed food right away these last two days it hasn't been like that I'm not famished um, I like I have a little like shadow hunger 
I don't know what to call it, but it's not like super hungry. Oh my gosh, I need to eat now. So I'm just gonna have my coffee and we're gonna go about go about our day basically. Yesterday I didn't get hungry until noon. Um, I'm feeling like today I'm not gonna get hungry until noon again because just because on Sunday that's my usual. If that's what my body's doing, intermittent fasting might be a possibility for me. You know, that is like blowing my mind. Like I might be able to do that. So if you know anything about intermittent fasting or you, you've done it, leave me a comment down below. I'm basically researching it as I'm researching keto just because keto, intermittent fasting, they are kind of go really together like people talk about them together. So I'm just researching both of them at the same time. They're both coming up basically whenever I research one. Whenever I'm researching keto, intermittent fasting is coming up. Either way, all in all, the week went great. I'm gonna continue on with keto at least half of this next week. I'm actually going on an amiga vacation. Yeah, basically me and my girlfriends are going away. <laughs> so I'm going to eat like normal. I'm not going to, basically I'm not going to keep myself to keto while I go while I go away. I'm just going to enjoy my time away and then come back and get right back on keto. And if you've been following my channel, you know I've also just ended a 28 day challenge. I'm definitely going to have that video up, if not before this, right after this video. I'm going to have 20 my 28 day challenge results which I think are amazing but hey you know I'm biased because <laughs> it's me but hey so I'm definitely going to share that so stay tuned for that video and thank you for staying around for my channel hello to my new subscribers I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I think it's because of my consistency even though last week I wasn't super consistent but we're gonna we're gonna get better with it don't worry hang in there Thank you for everyone who has liked, commented, and shared my videos. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate my, my subscribers. And I enjoy I enjoy seeing the community down in the comments. So make sure you leave me a comment down below as well. Say hello. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.